So, Anna, there's this whole debate going on about whether or not it's necessary to segregate the vaccinated from the unvaccinated uh, that pertains to kids, pati na rin yung teachers and other school personnel. What's your take on it? Um, well, I think, Regina, we we consider what we do also in the workplace as kind of like a model, di ba? Sa atin naman na mga nagtatrabaho pumapasok sa mga opisina or workplaces, we don't ask, ikaw ba vaccinated ka? So, pero, and also, it's uh, very disruptive also in terms of workflow, relationships, and all that, no? But what do we do to make sure that we and they, no, actually, mas sila kaysa tayo, are protected? Kasi um, sino ba ang mas at risk yung um, hindi vaccinated actually rather, rather than tayo na vaccinated. Uh, I think we've already seen the benefit of being vaccinated where uh, people who have been vaccinated uh, have a significantly decreased chance of getting severe and critical disease and lower their risk of death. So I think this is something that parents should be uh, thinking about very carefully, lalo na ngayon that their kids are going to go back to a setting where there's a uh, a risk of exposure, this disease is typically also accompanied by um, some signs and symptoms like fever you know, and body aches and pains. And so we expect that somebody who might still just be developing monkeypox will probably um, be more cautious about their movements because they're not feeling well. You know? mm. So siguro, the possibility of getting monkeypox um, maybe in a school setting is quite remote. And sig- I would say significantly less uh, based uh, compared to getting COVID, 